Okay, uh, welcome to class, such as it is. And we are going to do the 10 M or mastery problem today. And um, so it says journalizing sales and cash receipts. University design sells custom and printed products. The sales journal, cash receipts journal, accounts receivable ledger forms, and selected general ledger accounts are given in the working papers. Journalize the transactions on page 315, completed during the remainder of March in the appropriate journal. Use page three of the for the sales journal and page three of the cash receipts journal. Post any transactions impacting accounts receivable to the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger when the transaction is journalized. The sales tax rate is 7%. Source documents are abbreviated as follows. Receipt is R, sales invoice S, and terminal summary is TS. So the first thing we need to do is on March 3rd, sold merchandise on account to trailer stores, $3,248 plus sales tax, sales invoice 321. <coughs> So we have March 3rd, trailer stores, sale number 321, sales credit, $3,248. Multiply that times 0 0.07 and you'll get the sales tax. Then add the sales tax to the sales credit and you'll get the accounts receivable debit. That's how much they owe us. And then we owe the government part of that. Um, March 4th, received cash on account from Jenkins and Sanders LLP, which stands for Limited Liability Partnership, covering S312 for $945. So we need to go to the cash receipts journal. And I'm, I'm not going to keep switching this around, so just bear with me. March 4th, Jenkins and Sanders LLP, R348. $945 accounts receivable credit and $945 cash debit. March 5th, record cash and credit card sales, $1,485 plus sales tax, $92.14 for a total of $15.77.14. So that's in the cash receipts journal as well. On March 5th, check mark, terminal summary six for your document number, check mark in the post reference. Sales credit, $1,485. Sales tax payable credit, $92.14. And the total is $1,577.14 in the cash debit. Um, March 9th, received cash on account from Luxury Suites, $4,219, covering sales, uh, invoice 320, less of 2% discount, R349. So that's cash receipts because we received the payment. March 9th, Luxury Suites, receipt 349, accounts receivable credit. $4,219. Uh, if we do that times 0 0.02, we'll get the discount of $84.38. And then we subtract $84.38 from the $42.19 to get the $4,134.62. March 10th, sold merchandise on account to Southwestern University for $14.35. So we go to the sales journal. It's not cash receipts because we sold it on account. And it's Southwestern University. Sales invoice 322. Accounts receivable debit of $14.35. And sales credit of $14.35. Uh, there was no sales tax because they are exempt. On March 12th, received cash on account from Daniel Smith Promotions, $1,417. So March 12th, Daniel Smith Pro Promotions, 
R350 for receipt 350. Um, 1471 and 1471. There was nothing, uh, no discount or anything like that in that one. And then March 16th, received cash and credit card sales, $1,020.50 plus sales tax, $64.59. So $1,020.50 under sales credit. 64.59 and then if we add those two together we get $1,085.09 total prove and rule the sales journal so we'll go to the sales journal you need to total these up total up accounts receivable debit sales credit sales taxes payable single rule above it double rule below it and then we need to prove it so we're going to take accounts receivable debit which is this right here and we're going to pull it down here and then the sales credit right here we're getting that from right here and then sales tax payable we're going to get that from here here and then to prove it, we're going to pull this number down and we're going to add these two numbers to get that. These two numbers match. So we entered things correctly up above. Post the sales journal to the general ledger. So trailer stores. Um, count trailer stores. Uh, to the general ledger. So we're moving, I'm sorry, we're booking to the general ledger. We're taking these totals, right? Uh, so accounts receivable debit. And this is accounts receivable ledger. We want the general ledger. Accounts receivable debit right here. That's the 491036 that, that I highlighted above. It's sales three. Sales Journal 3, and it's a debit balance. It's a debit transaction. We add them together, and we get a bigger debit. We have to take the 1130 back up here, and uh, this is my least favorite part. 1130, and we're going to enter it underneath the total uh, in parentheses. Now we're going to take sales credit of 4683. We're going to go to the General Ledger. Uh, sales credit 4683. Don't forget to put the date. Sales journal page three. And it's a credit balance. It's a credit entry. So the credit balance went up. And then we're going to take 4110 count number. And we're going to go back and do our reference, our post reference there, right here. And then Sales tax credit for 22, uh, 227 36. 227 36. Sales journal, page three, March 31st. Seven, uh, it's a credit balance, credit transaction. So we're going to add those together. And we need to take the 2120 and go back up here. And enter that there for a post reference right there. Um, now we need to total improve the cash cash receipts journal. I will flip this around for this. And we're going to go into total. Uh, Cash receipts journal. So we're going to total them up just like we have been single line, double line. And prove the cash receipts journal. 
So once you've added these all up, we're going to pull these down. I'm going to zoom out. You guys will be able to see it. Um, so we have accounts receivable credit. We're going to put that there. And then we have sales credit. 250550 that's going to go there sales tax uh, payable credit from here 15673 to here it's a credit credit and then we have sales discount debit 8438 so it's debit says it right in the name so it's going to debit column and cash credit from up here cash debit is going here to prove it, you add up this and this, you'll get this. And then you add up these three, you'll get this. So your totals should match. If they don't, you either book something to the wrong column or you added um, added wrong, all right? Um, next up, number five, prove cash. Need to prove cash. There's cash up here. Sorry, I should have looked where cash was. Here's cash. Uh, March 1st balance of the general ledger, ledger cash account. So we need to go to the general ledger cash. That's the beginning balance right here, 65, 44, 15. And that's that right there. And then cash debit, column total, cash receipts journal. So cash receipts journal, I believe was up here. And we received the debit, so that means we received it, 9,212.85. And if we put that in, here, 9,212.85. We add this and this together, and we get 15,757. And then general ledger posting in cash account. So that is the 4174. I'm trying to get it so you can see both. So that's credit. That's what came out of cash. And then cash on hand at the end of the month. So this one right here is coming from here in your general ledger. And then this one here is what they give you in the book on page 315, where it says um, the next unused check stub, the balance was 11,582.54. These two match, so we proved cash. Now we're gonna rule the cash receipts journal. Rule the cash receipts journal. Okay. Post the cash receipts journal to the general ledger. I guess I didn't need to flip this. Um, so we're going to take these numbers, put them in the general ledger. So accounts receivable credit, 6635, 6635, right here, accounts receivable credit, the debit balance, credit, transaction so we subtract and that's yeah, cash receipts journal page three and we're gonna take that up 1130 right here sales credit 2505.50 sales right here 2505.50 Cash receipts journal page three, March 31st. This is a credit balance, credit transaction. So we're going to add. Then we're going to take the 4110. Go back to here. 4110. 
Um, sales tax payable credit, 156.73. Sales tax payable credit right here. Don't forget the post reference. Don't forget that. It's a credit balance, credit transaction. So we're going to add, and then we're going to take the 2120 back up to the cash receipts journal put that in there and then we have sales discount credit 8438 sales discount credit right here uh, it's a debit 8438 cash receipts journal page 331 it's a debit balance debit transaction we're going to add them we're going to take the 4120 Go back to the cash receipts journal, put that in right there. And then last one, cash debit 921285. Um, cash debit right here, 921.285. Add that debit balance, debit and eleven five eighty two fifty four. We're gonna take this back and put it in here. All right, so this is where I've stumbled a couple of times trying to see if I skip something. I do not see where it says to book anything to the um, to the. Uh, Accounts receivable ledger. So I'm assuming it doesn't say anywhere that I see any instructions to book to the. So here's the deal I'm going to scroll real slow. You can freeze the video if you need these numbers in there. Unless I am just completely blind today, I do not see where it's saying we had to book this. So maybe it was already in there and it doesn't show me on mine when stuff's already filled out. So if you did have to fill it in, there it is. Freeze it before you go on to the next step. So now we're going to prepare a schedule of accounts receivable. And I'm not even going to go back and forth. At this point, you know you take the ending balance from each one and put it in here and then add them up. Single lot rule above, double rule below. All right, so... Here's where you earn your participation grade for today's class. Um, I got good news and bad news for you. So we've done all these exercises, these big problems in the on your own, the work togethers, the um, application problems, and now the mastery. Um, so the bad news is I made you do all of these, even though I've known for probably four or five days. Um, there's no real way I'm going to be able to test you on this. Uh, the pictures that you guys send me are great uh, to prove that you did something, but there's no way I can uh, grade off of that. So I'm not going to um, I'm not going to send you those pages, have you print them, fill them out, take pictures, and send them back because they're almost useless. So your test is going to um, consist entirely of uh, the rest of the test. So it's gonna be similar to what you're, I don't have it in front of me, but it's gonna be like matching and true and false and multiple choice, um, those types of things, which is what your homework is gonna be night is your study guide. Um, so here's the deal. Go into your, uh, into our discussion board. And if you are happy, then I'm not give, testing you on that stuff. Say thank you, coach. If you're not happy or if you're more irritated with me um, because I made you do all of that, even though I knew I wasn't going to test you on it, um, you can say you're a terrible, you're a terrible person, coach. Um, all right. And don't tell each other. This is how I'm checking. I know everybody's not watching the videos because I can see the count on it. Um, through my analytics on the YouTube channel. So this tells me who's watching it or not. All right. So study guide tonight. Thank you.